This ministry content is brought to you by the partners of Terry Savelle Foy Ministries. Hey, it's Cassidy Foy, Terry's daughter. I know you're not used to seeing my face or hearing a voice this deep, but it's temporary. Some of you may have seen on my mom's Instagram that she recently underwent a surgery and there were some complications, specifically with the nerves on the left side of her face. So we are praying and believing that all nerves in her face are restored in Jesus name. I know she is reading every comment and direct message on social media right now, and your prayer is what's getting her through it. So thank you so much for praying and believing with us for this miracle. Today, I want to take you into a clip from our Icing Women's Conference in 2023. Now, we know Satan is a liar, and he will lie to anyone who will listen. So how do we overcome his lies? The main weapon in mental warfare is to deliberately feed your mind God's truth. Because every time you feed your mind God's truth, you overcome Satan's lies. So let's do that today and watch this. So a few years ago, actually 2010, I think it was, or earlier, I hired a fitness trainer to just help me, show me what to do at the gym. I don't know what to do. Well, the first thing she said to me, she didn't know me from anybody. First thing she said to me is, let's work on your self-image, starting with your posture. I was like, what? I want to work on my thighs. She said, she said your self-image can be seen in your posture. She said, I want you to start pulling your shoulders back and carrying yourself with more confidence. This is what the fitness trainer said. Well, then I began thinking about, y'all heard me tell stories. When I was in college, I studied body language. My degree's in French, my minor's in communications. Well, we would study body language, nonverbal communication. And we discovered that 93% of the way you communicate is nonverbally. Without ever opening your mouth, you're communicating more with your mouth closed. So through body language, and y'all remember some of these stories, but those were the most fun classes because... We would learn things like, do y'all remember the fast wink and the slow wink? The fast wink just says, how are you? The slow wink is completely different. (laughs) And then they would tell us stuff like, if there's a guy standing in front of you that looks like Brad Pitt and your head starts to tilt, the tilted head is a sign of interest. Just keep your head straight. (laughs) Or girls, if you're talking to a guy and you just don't even think about it, but you start playing with your hair, That's a total sign of flirting. So we had so much fun, you know, learning all this stuff. But I remembered that the signs of insecurity were poor posture, arms folded, and the head down. But the number one sign of defeat is a lowered head. And y'all remember the story of how I was out walking one morning and I just heard the Lord, in my spirit, I just heard him say, lift your head. I thought, did I really hear that? Lift your head. So I got my phone out and put it in my notes so I wouldn't forget. I went home and I found out God is so smart, he even put body language in the Bible. There's a scripture, Psalm 3, 3, says, thou, O Lord, are a shield for me. You're the glory and the lifter of my head. And God was trying to teach me a powerful lesson that you should never go the rest of your life feeling ashamed, rejected, ugly, insecure, defeated. When Jesus hung on a cross with his head down just so yours could be lifted up, Jesus said, lift your head. He didn't pay that price so you could walk around like that. So God was teaching me that, that a person with a defeated identity is not going to share the stage with John Maxwell. A person with a defeated identity is not going to help teenage girls discover their purpose. So I had to learn how to shift my identity. You know, your words are so powerful. Even Steve Harvey said this. He said, you think you're the only one who sees your words of defeat? He said, but they show up in your demeanor and the way you present yourself to the world. Even Selena Gomez, she said that she battled with depression and anxiety before and after she would go on stage, like major depression. And she said she went to counseling and she started learning about the power of hearing God's word and feeding your faith. But she said that wasn't enough. I had to take it a step further. She had to start speaking over herself and saying, I am strong. I am courageous. I can do this. I am powerful. She said the more you speak it, eventually your brain begins to believe it. 
Well, do y'all remember, you've probably read the book called Atomic Habits. Um, in that book, James Clear tells a story of two people who were resisting a cigarette. They asked one person if he wanted a cigarette, and he said, no thanks, I'm trying to quit. But that person still saw themselves as a smoker who's trying something different. But the second person said, no thanks, I'm not a smoker. That person saw themselves with a new identity. Smoking is not a part of my current identity. He said the different wording was minor, but the change was major. So who do you need to become to achieve your goals? Who do you need to become to achieve the dreams that are in your heart? Don't stop with just writing them down in your book. Some of you got these little planners and I have a place for you to write your affirmations. Don't stop there. Affirm it with your mouth. You know that word affirm means to make firm? So when you speak these out, you're making them firm. And do it over and over and over until your brain starts to believe this is the new you. So I heard a story about the English sailing team. Now, I don't know what the award is called in sailing, in sailing, but they wanted to win whatever the award is, some trophy, some big prize, you know. But they decided to establish a filter to help them make decisions to reach this goal. And this was their filter for every decision. Will it make the boat go faster? So they would be asking things like, should I stay up late and go to that party? Will it make the boat go faster? No, go to bed. Or they would be at dinner and they'd say, should we have dessert? Will it make the boat go faster? Nope, skip the dessert. Or they'd get to the gym and be like, I don't feel like working out. Will it make the boat go faster? Nope, get in there and work out. So that was the filter they used for every decision they made. So you have to establish a good filter for you, whatever your identity or your goal is. Let's just say you're establishing a new identity of being debt-free. And last night, you may have even wrote that down as your grand dream is to be debt-free. Then every decision goes through that filter. Should I buy this expensive purse? Will it help me get debt-free? Don't buy the purse. You got enough purses for right now. Should I go on this expensive vacation? Will it help me reach my goal of being debt-free? Nope, once you're debt-free, you can figure it out later. Or maybe it is to lose weight or get healthy. Should I eat these nachos at 10 o'clock at night? <laughs> Will it help me reach my goal? No, you're more tired than you are hungry. Just go to bed, right? Or maybe it's to get married, and that's your goal. You have to have a filter. Should I stay home the fifth weekend in a row and not go out and meet anyone? Will it help me get closer to meeting the one? No, get out there. <laughs> or should I continue going out with this guy that I know isn't God's best for me? Will it help me get closer to the one who is? No, stop going out with him. So you have to decide what that filter is for you. I had to ask myself, would the Terry who shares the stage with John Maxwell do something like this? So, I mean, even Kobe Bryant had that filter. He said everything, everything, everything was done to become a better basketball player. He said, when you have that point of view, the world becomes your library to help you get better at your craft. So his filter was, will this help me become a better basketball player? You got it? Wasn't that so good? You know, every time you hear God's word, it gets down on the inside of you and it changes you from the inside out. And one tool that can help you drastically change your self-image is to speak God's word over yourself. This will boost your self-confidence and shift your identity to being one that is of God. That's why we want to give you a list of positive declarations and scriptures to speak over your self-image. These declarations and scriptures are amazing. I mean, seriously, imagine saying things like, I am unique, I am confident, I am bold, I am loved and accepted. Can you imagine saying that and then backing it up with God's word and saying, Thank you, Lord, that you go before me and you are with me. You will never leave me nor forsake me. I will not be afraid. I will not be discouraged. That's Job 7:19. This is completely free, and to download this list, you can simply click the link in the description. And hey, real quick before I go, I want to invite you to our Icing Women's Conference in Dallas, Texas. This is our 14th annual Christian women's event where we come together for two days and learn practical biblical teaching that will transform your life and help you live your dreams faster. 
This is all happening on August 30th and 31st, and I really want you to be there. Reserve your seat today by going to terry.com. But hey, we love you and thank you for subscribing, and we're cheering you on to live your dreams. Join us for the Icing Women's Event live experience in Dallas, Texas. This is your time to grow in your relationship with God. Get the biblical tools you need to live your dreams. Be set free from limitations and make 2024 your record-breaking year. Join Terry Savelle Foy along with anointed guest speakers on August 30th through the 31st for an unforgettable weekend that will inspire and motivate you to live out your God-given purpose. Go to terry.com to register for Icing Women's Event today. We can't wait to see you at Icing 2024, the premier women's conference for faith-filled dream achievers.